be a baby, baby, baby. Spinning in his wedges like he came from Maytag. Rocket with it on the brown liquor. When I get like this, I can't be around you. I'm too lit to dim down a notch. Cause I can into things that I'm gon' do. Wow, wow, wow. When I with you, all I get is wild thoughts. Wow, wow, wow. When I with you, all I get is wild thoughts. What's up? So today I'm going to be doing the Wild Thoughts music video, Rihanna inspired makeup. This also could be used for 4th of July, but this might be up after or the day of 4th of July because I'm really late with this. Because I've been like really busy with like summer. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys like this makeup look and if you do, give it a big ol' thumbs up and please subscribe. I really want to get back into the YouTube game. I might pick out like a specific day when I will upload and all that. So yeah. So yeah, this could be used for both like 4th of July and it could just represent like America, like the colors or just for like a party in the summer if you don't want like colors to use or something like that. Like you can use this to pair it out with sort of you know, like a top like this. And yeah, this is the Wild Thoughts inspired makeup look. You can use it for anything. Today I'm going to be doing something different I'm gonna start out with the eyes I think because the eyes there might be a lot of fallout so yeah but first we're just gonna put my hair up like this okay so first I'm gonna be using the Cetaphil daily facial moisturizer it has a broad spectrum of SPF 15 it looks like this I always use this in my videos the first thing you want to do is always start with moisturizer Go hit me up on my Instagram, my Twitter, my Snapchat. My Instagram and Snapchat are the same thing, Jay Casada. My Twitter is Jay Casada with underscores. Okay, so we're just gonna be starting out with my eyebrows. This is like so weird because I never do this. First, we're gonna be taking the Anastasia number 12 brow brush. All the writing came off, but it looks like this. Looks like that. And spooly. And I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Soft Brown. You guys know what it is, this one. And we're just gonna be filling in the eyebrows. So first you just wanna brush through them. I don't know how this is gonna look because I usually do this when I have foundation on. So I did a poll on my Twitter and the most votes of the video topics I chose for you guys was the mom tag, which is really cute actually. So we'll film that soon, don't worry. I filmed it when I first started YouTube, but I didn't like the way like it came out. It looks so bad. Instead of using the concealer like I usually do, I'm just gonna be taking the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelette, and we're just gonna like wipe off the excess like brow stuff on my face. This is actually kind of genius if you want to like save your concealer, because I always sculpt out my brows. It's kind of hard to do this because you're like, sorry I've been blocking the video, because you're like foundation, like it's not blending with your foundation color if you know what I mean. Oops, that was like too much. Okay, so those are what my brows look like. I know they look crazy, but they'll look good. Obviously, you guys know when my foundation is on. So now we're just gonna be setting them. And I'm gonna be taking the Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara. That's how we're just gonna set them. They'll come out better when I have my, as I said, face makeup on. So we're going to be taking the NYX eyeshadow base, it looks like that, in ESBO3. And we're going to be taking the one of the Naked palette brushes, you guys seen this before, the fluffy side and then the flat side. And we're going to be putting this all over the eyes, so the base. So now that that's all on, we're gonna take, I think we're gonna take the Beauty Blender, it's a damp one, and we're just gonna blend that in. So 
So now we're just gonna set it with the Anastasia contour and highlight kit, I think it's called. The red kind of came off. You know, guys, this one, this is like almost out. I'm gonna taking these two colors and just setting that. I took like a bunch of screenshots from Rihanna's video and we're gonna like use those as a reference. Cause I've seen like creations, but I feel like maybe they're not like exact or whatever. I don't know if you guys can see, but I've taken like a lot of screenshots of her makeup. Like a really close up shot, like I can't speak. But I've taken one like that. And she has like an orangey kind of base as her transition shade. So I think that's what we're gonna start with. For that to match it. By the way guys, I got the heat palette. Thumbs up this video if you want a tutorial on this. I still have it in its packaging, but I've used it. But yeah, it's such a good palette. Like I'm not kidding, it's really good. But unfortunately these colors don't go with the orange she used. Let me see again. And I mean a little bit, maybe that one. But I think the orange that will match it the best would be Real Guard from the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. As you guys can see like a little bit. But I think we're gonna use this one, Real Guard. And we're gonna take like a pointed shader brush per usual like this one from Morphe it's that tapered one you guys know what I'm talking about this one right and we're just gonna be using that in her crease If you go too far and you can, it's not all on her nose, you can just take your makeup wipe if you're doing my method and just like wipe it. When you put on your foundation and everything, it will come together, don't worry. Now we're gonna move on to the green. So this is kind of hard for me. She has like an ombre effect going on. Okay, so I'm gonna take something like this with flat edge because it's like a triangle. It gets really out and I'm gonna start working the greens in there. It's like a dark outer V. So I think I'm gonna start with the green in the middle. So here, this is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna take like a really tealy shape in this palette. Mine broke, but this is a Sephora palette. It looks like this. It's huge and mine came off so don't freak out. We're gonna be taking this shade, it's like a teal color, and we're gonna be putting that like in a V. Like do it halfway and then like this, like make it pop. So just take like a flat brush like so, like this, and take the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Mine broke so I just open it and dip my brush in. Basically just make a triangle at the inner, the halfway and then inner corner because that's what I see going on here. And now we're just gonna be taking a darker green, yeah, like a dark green, and just put it on the outer V. Now you could take that tapered brush that I mentioned before, this one, like something like that, in the big Sephora palette, and take a tapered brush, a more like, you know, pointy one, and put that on the outer V. If you don't have tape on you like me, just take something with a hard edge. Oh, this. So I'm gonna take like a primer I have and just put it like really far, make it follow your lower lash line and just put the green there like this. Take the green and like you just have to mix them together. And then this is what I think she did, the makeup artist. For this one, if you're using the Big Sephora palette like me, the best pigment you can get out of these if you swipe them. And it has to be damp, so just like this. Cause this teal color is like the main beige in this makeup tutorial. It's just about blending and using the color she used. So I'm gonna take the same flat brush, but flip it. Like this is the side I use, but I'm gonna flip it. And I'm gonna be taking the lime shade and putting that in the middle.
Okay, scratch that. Just, I think all it is is just a teal color and a dark green. That's all it is. I mean, it doesn't look exactly like it, so I'm just gonna put back the teal color. I mean, it's just kind of work. This is inspired, not exact. Take that color again. I think that's good. I mean, it looks crazy because it has that. Now all you need is like a dark brown right here. So I think I'm gonna take a smaller brush because it's more defined, it looks like. And I'm gonna take the, the heat palette, the brush, but the more tapered. And I'm gonna take from the Gwen Stefani palette, Punk. It looks like this, it's just like a dark brown. Any will do, and just take a taper brush and just put it like above the green. Sorry, I look really ugly. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm gonna put the brow bone highlight on. We're gonna be taking Bop from the Gwen Stefani palette. As you guys know, I love my shimmery shade. And put that on the brow bone. Just take any shimmery shade. I might go in with Primavera from the Mountain Renaissance palette because I know this one is opaque. Just put any blend. So I think the eyes are done, so you can take your makeup wipe and clean up this part. Okay, so now we're just gonna do like a thin line and then we're gonna put some lashes on. The lashes, it looks like she has on just like a tiny pair, so nothing big. And I don't think they're tapered, they're just regular. But we're gonna put taper on. I love mine. So just take your eyeliner and put a thin line on. This is my favorite eyeliner brush. This is B4Y and it's just angled. And it looks like that. And we're gonna be taking the NYX Black Gel Liner in Jet Black and just do a thin line with no wing. By the way, this is a beauty tip guys if your eyeliner is dry just put some eye drops in it I'm gonna switch it and go with the Rimmel one because my next one's a little bit dry I'm gonna curl them and then put mascara on and apply them. My favorite mascara right now is the Molly mascara. I got this in Beautycon bag last year. You make your lashes so long. And then just apply your lashes. I just use any glue available. This is just the Kiss one, strip lash adhesive, and I just use tweezers to push down. Well, here's a trick that I've been doing recently. So with fake eyelashes, sometimes I would just blow on them for a little bit and just put them on when they were like still like not soaking wet, but they were like wet. And when I would take off my lashes, like my lashes would get like pulled off with it. And so what I've been doing recently is going like this and just counting to 10 and you know, blowing on them for more and putting them on and it makes a world of a difference. It lasts longer, does it slide, and everything. So I really like that method. Today is not my day to put eyelashes on. Like, you know how you have those days yeah, today's my day. I'm just gonna take some black eyeshadow on my eyeliner brush and just hide the glue. So I'm just gonna use the eyelash curler and just squeeze them together. We're gonna be taking the makeup wipe and we're gonna wipe the excess makeup that possibly fell. I can see it. It's okay if you wipe it off and you put cream. The cream already set into your skin. So we're just be taking my primer and it's the LCN primer. Uh, 
Okay, so I've kind of ran out of foundation and haven't had a chance to go run out and get some. I've been mixing, but I've been taking my really pale one. And of course, it's summer and I don't have my white shade because I'm tanner and everything. So I'm going to be taking the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Illuminous Makeup Foundation. It's SPF 20. WY-2 Porcelain. It looks like this. And I've been taking the CoverGirl True Blend Liquid Makeup Foundation. This is a darker one. This is a pale one. I just mix them together. And I'm going to take my Beauty Blender. I've been going back to Beauty Blender and I stopped using it. I don't know why. And we're just going to put it on the Beauty Blender. I'm gonna be taking, this is not concealer, it's a foundation, but I like to use it. It's like really full coverage. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation in 117Y225. I got this in the winter because I obviously was paler, but this was even pale for me back then. They didn't, they either had this one or like a really dark one, and I'm not that shaded as you can tell. So now we're we'll going to be taking the powder. The powder I'm going to be using, it, this is a new one I got. This is Asphytica in Banana, and it's really good. Now, I, I always use the Beauty Blender to put on the powder, but it came with this poof, and I was always like, why do they come with a poof if they know, like, Beauty Blender or anything? But this poof is everything. Like, you, do you guys remember the day I would set my face with, like, powder, like, loose powder? But we're just gonna take this poof. It's, like, literally, like, look at all this. And we're gonna fold it, and we're gonna take the powder on it. And wear, like, a bib or something. <laughs> So we're gonna take, we're gonna blend them together, I think. The makeup artist took the teal color. So we're gonna wet the brush that has a teal color on it and dry it. And we're gonna take that teal color again and tap it off. And we're gonna run this over here. We'll put it in the middle. And then I think for the outer V, we're gonna take like a pointy brush or something like that. And we're gonna take that dark green shade and put it at the bottom. And the Sephora palette and just run it. It's okay if it's a little messy because that's the point of it. It's supposed to be really smoky. But I'm gonna take a concealer and just like clean it up. So I'm gonna take that brush that we used in the beginning to put our base on and use, you know, my fave, the Maybelline Instant Age one. Wow, I love it! Okay. okay, we're just gonna take a black because it's smoky and like a sexy look. Just take a gel eyeliner or even a black eyeshadow and just put that in your inner tight line and you can up use it for your upper tight line.
I don't know if she put it there, but look, doesn't it make it look so clean? And now take your mascara and just put it under. You can take like a blue, because I also saw blue, like a sky blue a little bit, like this. And you can put it there, this one. And you can kind of mix it, because I saw like a blue. We're gonna take a buffing brush. I cleaned all my brushes yesterday, I'm so proud of myself. And just wipe off this. Now we're gonna be taking the Chrissy Teigen Becca Contouring and Highlighting Palette and we're gonna be taking the contour shade with a contour brush. Do you wanna see it's all clean? And we're just gonna be contouring her face. Now she's obviously like a darker shade than me so you can go ham on the bronzer. See, and your bronzer comes out so much more like better if you set it with like a powder, I mean like a loose powder. So I know she took like a peachy blush, but I don't know where my bag palette went, so I have to wing it. I'm gonna use this one. This is the Oldie But Getty. And then NARS Orgasm and Laguna blush, and this one has like old reflexes in it, so it could work. I'm gonna take my clean Morphe taper brush, these don't have names, and I'm just gonna put this on my cheeks. I knew she wore a luminator. So I'm gonna take the Nicole, this is like beat up because it's my favorite. This is in the Nicole Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighting palette and I'm gonna go with the coral one. I just use all of them and as you can tell the white one's my favorite but I'm gonna go with this one because that's where her cheek color is so. This and this, so just take any highlighter Suck in and highlight your collarbone because that's what she did. Just highlight it, baby. Highlight. Highlight. And put it on your shoulder because it's summer on your shoulders. It's a nice look. I love summer because of this. But you just highlight away. Don't mind that. That's just from the, um, the romper. Look how pretty. Look how pretty. So now we're going to be taking the Kylie Holiday Edition lip kit because she's wearing red lips. So we're just going to take that in line. It smells so good. Okay, so this is the red lip. She wore like a like a really reddish one. I don't know why it's so dark. I'm gonna sharpen this and I'm, I'm gonna mix it with a lighter one. We're just gonna like line it. I used to not understand like why we lip line, but you lip line so the lipstick like stays in the line so it doesn't leak on your face. Okay, so now let's make it a lighter red because this is like really dark. Let's use like a, like a red like this. And this is by One Direction. And just go over it. Yeah, it's more of like this shade. Ew, don't mind this, but go with something like these two colors, like one of these. The lips are like really dark. Let me see. I'm gonna use a lip brush and go in with these two. This is from the Sephora palette because this is like way too dark. Now this is really glossy for me. I mean, I like glossy lips, but they get everywhere and I like to be bulletproof. So I'm gonna take, oops. I'm gonna take some powder to like make it matte. So I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna use my fingers, like take the powder like this.
I'm going to take a lip brush and blend it in. We are done. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up. Please subscribe, I love you guys so much. And I hope you guys like this makeup look. I tried really hard. I hope you guys like this. I did the bracelets and yeah. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you later. Besos. <laughs> what a dumb bitch. With some um, raindrops. Just take a gel liner. Oh, yes. Okay. This is, oh, God. Ew, there's so many layers on my lips. The heat of a thousand.